Hey guys, Lucar Sharon here, and we got ourselves a brand new Beyblade unboxing. It's time with Beyblade Pro Series Union Achilles. And I'm very excited because this is the first Beyblade unboxing where I get to do it on the very around the side around the time of its release. In this case the wave five. So I'm finally keeping up. In this case is your Achilles and you know, all the parts here, the GG tip, the energy layer, forge disc, and the driver. And so we shall we begin? Talk about each part, so let's this might be a little tricky for me, so bear with me. So uh, okay, I'm sorry. Just give me some time to this is a little sloppy, I know. I just, yeah, it's, it's, give me a moment to get this to work. Oh, I'm getting somewhere. Here we go. There we go. There we go. We're getting somewhere. Here we go. Let's get this out of the way for now. Oh, uh, we actually. Oh, oh, we don't have all the mouth yet, so. Okay. Is that it? Oh, 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 we got our. Uh, we give me one moment. I'm just gonna. There is <laughs> the rib cord. Is, the rib cord is not is stuck in there right now. So this is this is hilarious. But sad, <laughs> bad. This is not good. Rib cord, come on. Here we go. Rib cord. Here we go. That was embarrassing, so... Ugh, sorry about the... Swing of the... Yeah, my area is a little messy, so I have the... And uh, the other rooms are a little messy uh, being used right now, so I, I can do it like that. So here we are, we finally got those stuff out. So... Instructions... Are the instructions? Oh. Instructions. We got the instructions here. We got ourselves the stickers. Oh, that's so cool. Stickers. There's a lot more stickers than my last Beyblade I did. Well, uh, my last Pro Series that is uh, Master Devilos, Yabalos. And then we have the Forge Disc Convert, the, the Extend Plus Driver that looks really cool. I'll explain about it later. And then in here, we have the main attraction. Ooh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Yes. Now this is what we're talking about. The Union, the Union Achilles energy layer. Oh, this looks very nice. A little messy, really. A little some mess. Uh, yeah, it looks so sick. I love it. So, let's... So, I'll be right back. I'm going to take care of stickers. And we are back. Sorry, this, um... Well, you want to be... to wait for me because I have a little this time skip. And the form... Hell, is because I need to get the stickers on. And they are really hard to do. Looks like Takara Tommy likes to be very more precise with their stickers and even if there's a hasbro release this is made to be more closely more authentic closer to to keratomi so yeah they would hasbro 2 would make stickers more precise just to be much more like to keratomi's so let's take a look at each part all the parts we got stuff is the Achilles GT tip, and from what I heard, it's considered as one as the best, one of the best competitive use because it has more teeth marks. It actually covers up the whole energy layer filling. Can't really describe it. You'll see what I mean later. And we got ourselves the the Ritsu layer weight. Is more weight to the energy layer, and as an energy layer, we have the union energy layer. As of right now, it is on speed mode without the union swords, 
and the Union Swords, which also has stickers. There's a lot here, to be precise. They're really hard to do, the stickers. But yeah, the Union Swords, they would go onto the Union, to the Union Layer, where it's speed mode, without the Union Swords. It's now, nah, put it on, if I can just do it, so I'll do the camera on. Here we go. And then now the Union Swords are on, it would make this an attack mode. It has a higher slope, so it will sw swing the, the opponent's bayonet upwards. Then we have the Convert Weight, the uh, Convert Weight Disc, no, not Weight Disc, the, uh, the Forge Disc, and it's designed to go in two modes. If I, two modes here. I can't do it with, I can't change it with my single hand here. It's gonna be a lot harder to do. But right now it's in attack mode. If you see the air pointing, if I could just show you right now, I'll be able to change the arrow, one arrow to the opposite direction, which will make it more balance. Which uh, also will last longer in battle. But right now the arrows are pointing all pointing in one direction, thus having more of attack power. But has a low, has a higher chance of losing stamina. And now we have is the Extend Plus. So this is Hasbro's second release of the Extend Plus energy, the driver. The, fir the first is with Lunar. The precise name I can't pronounce. It's a little weird to me. So yeah, it has three modes. The attack mode, the uh, stamina mode, and the defense mode. As of right now, I if I could just change the modes to have a better look. I say right now it looks like to be on defense mode, so has a greater chance of us uh, getting to the middle of the stadium. I guess you could say. I can't really do it with my single hand, but yeah, this is what I'm pretty sure. So. Once we hit, so yeah, we first we'll talk about the putting together the. If I could just do just put the energy layer on right now. This is a little sloppy. Uh, is that right? Yeah, that's right. So next up, we put the Union Swords in. Turn this around. If you just give me a moment, <laughs> I can't do this with one hand. Be right back. Now I got the GT tip finally locked in, and it was a little tighter than I realized. Maybe it was the mold. Uh, maybe it was the how the it was uh, molded in the factory, so it may have been a little tighter than most other GT tips. Let me know if you experienced the same thing. But as you can see here, there is a lot more uh, teeth covering up the whole area in comparison to uh, to my other uh, Master Devlos. It had less teeth. This is kind of probably the reason why people say this that you the Achilles GG tip the Achilles GG tip has actually the best so more teeth must the last longer so and then we have this oh yeah and then we have these all together so we'll put these together I'll be right back we'll put this together. Because I'm only doing this, recording this with one hand, and it'll be harder to record it all together with only one hit to put together the Bailey together in the video. So I'll be right back. And now we have the complete full Beyblade. It's finally put together the Union Achilles. It looks really nice. Look at that. Look. The swords, a huge slope there. He's an attack. I actually set this on to the Forge Disc Convert Forge Disc into balance mode, so now it has a proper weight distribution, which will, should last longer in battle. And then, the, and then we have, and then here's the the uh, the Extend Plus driver. So. If I'm perfectly, yeah, this is defense mode. I'm having a little trouble trying to get to attack mode, unfortunately. It's a little tricky there. Uh, I heard that it, apparently that the it's not proper for the 
well, the, the boxing ball is not that great in a Hasbro version. But, yeah, I probably would just, I don't know if I would use the attack ball a lot often. But, at least I can use stamina and defense ball, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, so this is a really cool bay. Um, let's, so I don't, so let's actually comp do a comparison with Master Devilos. Here's the Master Devilos. And these are really sick looking Beyblades. I still love Master Devilos. It is a very, my first pro series slash uh, Beyblade Burst S Beyblade. Beyblade Burst Beyblade. And they look so sick together. Both balance types. And I do find myself realizing that I'm more of a person who likes to, to who likes custom lines of Beyblade based on the, the balance type category. And uh, let's see then let's put next to drawings or gigs. So I'll do the comparison. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's actually funny to consider that uh, the drawings are my drawings of gigs is in the red color variation. It looks really nice. Kind of has a unification with my other two Beyblades. So this is really nice, sick. It has a very nice uh, set together. So, yeah. Uh, what else can I say? Oh, yeah. So, of course, this is a, one of those stars packs. So, I also have a TT launcher, a basic TT launcher, stock launcher. It's much, it's much more thicker, much more hand holding in comparison to the Hasbro one. To the standard, the standard, cheaper Hasbro ones. But yeah, this is really nice. And I have a, and then also the rip cord here. It's a bendy, a little bendy in the moment, so I'm going to plan that out later. Yeah. Uh, so, most I could say, I love that. the Achilles. Looks really nice next to. Master Devils and Georgia Gigs. I am definitely am a balance type later for certain. And uh, soon enough, we'll be able to do Bay Battles soon. I actually have a an open uh, Beyblade Burst Stadium, a Pro Series Stadium is on the way. So actually, it's here. I already have it, but it's not open yet uh, for a little personal reasons I won't be able to open it just yet probably sometime around in April maybe until then we'll hit so until time comes I'll be able to do battles and do other videos I could try out maybe we'll do one test spin with Charger gigs for the style of fields and do some battles and other fun stuff with the like other pro series Beyblades so yeah, actually gonna have end up getting two more. It's gonna be uh, I don't know what you call it. Uh, oh yes, the Chosy Achilles and both Chosy Veltriac in their own used different colors. We'll talk about that then. So yeah, what do you guys think? I have I love how this Bailey turned out. It is a really nice bay. Um, I'm definitely gonna see if I can get more in the future. Uh, I might pull up a new poll. If I, if things go well, I might just be able to get an RB of the Wave 5, so I might pull up a new poll, so check that out. Until then, see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.